Well, you may have watched some of the other videos uh, about people putting uh, uh, drain uh, holes and plugs in their pond prowler or pelican boat or bass raider or, or <clears throat> any of the plastic boats. And uh, uh, the ones that I've watched, they put them in the rear on each side <clears throat> of the pontoon down low, and it's the kind that you, you know, you uh, put in like an inch hole, then you screw a rivet the plug in, you know, use the marine sealant, put the plug in, and uh, screw or rivet it in, and then it pulls in and out. And I was going to do that because I'm probably like a lot of you. I've bought this boat used. It's about six or seven years old, and uh, it's got a little bit of water in it, and I guess it's hard to keep them out of it. I guess a lot of it, uh, if you leave them outside in the rain, gets in um, either where the like for the plug for your uh, trolling motor or it may just leak in around the uh, the drain plug in the, in the floor of the boat places like this just where water can, can get in over time uh, but it just made me a little nervous about having two extra holes in the bottom of the uh, near the bottom of it uh, it's always underwater when you're out on the lake and they probably may seal fine those guys may not have any trouble but I just got to thinking about it, and I thought instead I would go to the front of the boat and I would use these. These are half-inch kayak plugs that go on kayaks. I guess kayaks take on water, and they just, these, I think these are usually on the top of them. You can take them off, turn over, and drain the water out of your kayak. I just kind of grab it, pull it out. That's what it is. Just, uh, they're called kayak plugs, half inch. And they just push it in there. And that's it. But I drilled, drilled a test hole in my bucket and a half inch really just kind of goes in and out really easy, a half inch bit. And so I went with a three H bit then I just took a cone-shaped reamer and just reamed it out a little bit at a time. Uh, and took some real fine sandpaper wrapped around a, a, a Sharpie and just kind of cleaned up the edges. So now I've got a hole on both sides. This is in the front of it because uh, if it's going to be me most of the time, uh, I'll be in the back with the battery. And so I don't think this will really even be uh, in the water, underwater much. Um, but even if it was, these go in pretty tight. Bam, I don't think it'll leak at all. So I'm gonna take it out. It's pretty simple, but these are just half inch kayak plugs that are pretty cheap. I think I bought an eight pack for just a few dollars. It wasn't much, but that's how I've done it on this one. And I think it's gonna work fine. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.